Hello guys, this is the Spear and the Owl. So it's time for another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about prayer beads. Prayer beads is a topic that I was introduced to back when I was Wiccan. And I knew about prayer beads because the Roman Catholics used them. But now being Hellenic, I wanted to broach the subject about prayer beads on Facebook and I actually found out that there are Hel Hellenics that actually make their own prayer beads. Now, I'm an individualized person. I like to make a religion as individualized as I am. I don't stray too far from the source but I do like to integrate new things into my practice and it not to be how other people do things. So when I decided to do a project of making prayer beads, I couldn't go to, I couldn't go to my local craft store because I don't have one in where I'm at. Um, I went to a fabric store and they didn't have beads. I went to Target and I'm going to tell you something. I'm not a fan of Target ever since they did that breach of security with the, with the, the credit cards and stuff. So I really try to limit me going to Target. So I really had no place to go to get beads. Now, I would go to Hobby Lobby, but I'm kind of afraid to go to Hobby Lobby because I'm afraid I'm going to get attacked by people that says, oh, you went to a place that supports uh, women not having access to contraception. I don't want to hear it. Of course, someone will probably say, well, you don't have to tell them you went to Hobby Lobby. It'll kind of be evident that I went. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I, I kind of want to avoid any kind of dumb comments that will come my way. So I really didn't have a place to go and get beats. And I really wanted to make a pair of Hellenic prayer beats, especially devotional prayer beats. Or devotional prayer necklace or bracelet or something like that. So I was at Walgreens yesterday. And I found, to my absolute shock, there isn't that many left, beads. Now, they're not wooden beads. They're actually um, plastic, but they were pretty. And I really felt compelled to buy them, and not because it's my favorite television show. Um, I, I could have my beads and make my necklace or bracelet and not have to listen to people gripe. Though, once you see them, you'll probably will gripe. So, these are beads that I am using. So, um... So, I hope you like them. Uh, warning, this is going to be comment approval only, mainly because I, I'm i not against people commenting on my videos. I just, when it comes to what, you know, the fact is these are not wooden uh, beads, but plastic, just seems I'm, I always get like the idiots that come on and say, oh, that's not how it's done. I'm like, excuse me, if I want a dogma, I would go, yeah. All right. So I decided to start off with making um, a, prayer, a prayer necklace for um, Ikati, his Festus, and Athena. Um, so let me, let me find it. find it here it is okay 
So, this is my prayer bead. Um, this was the big one they had. And then, um, the purple is for, um, Ikati, the, um, the yellow one is for his Festus, and the blue one is for, um, Athena. So, um, I used them, um, today, and... It was, it was, I'm going to be honest, it was a really powerful experience to use them. And I got no feeling that um, Ikati, Hisphestus, and Athena were insulted. So, I'm going to change the decoration on it, and I'm going to try to get something that's Hellenic. But I want to just decorate it, and um, that's what I did. I want to know I'm a My Little Pony fan. I'm not ashamed. Um, I'd like to show because it's a break from all the violence and stupidity that I have to see on the internet. So, yeah. This is for Aphrodite. I chose pink because if you look at the colors that are prevalent on Valentine's Day, which I consider it to be Aphrodite and Eros's day, um, if you look at what was done during Roman times, yeah. So this is my um, prayer prayer necklace, prayer beads to Aphrodite, and of course I got my little decoration, which I will be changing, so you don't guys gotta worry. This one is the only one that has. A Hellenic animal. Or <laughs> um, so this is my devotional um, one. And of course I put my own little personal thing on there. Yeah. But um, on the back of it, I've got the owl. And I chose this because I, first of all, first of all, when I bought this owl last year, it did not come with anything that I could put a cord through or anything like that. I originally bought this owl to symbolize my, um, my number one, my love for the animal and also Athena. But I couldn't put a cord through it. So it was waiting for the perfect opportunity to be used. And I was trying to thread the cord through it. And it wouldn't go through. The first one would go through. The second one wouldn't. I found an obstruction in the, um, mold, uh, in the finished product. Apparently when it was being manufactured at the uh, company, or the factory, they left a piece of the metal in there. So I had to poke at it to finally get it to be released, and I was finally able to thread them both through. So this is my devotional. This is for the 12 gods, and Asclepius, and Trike, and, um, and all that. So I use this one as uh, the devotional part of my uh, ritual. This one is to Asclepius. I know these are not his colors. Um, I just felt um, obligated to use them. And um, I'm, I keep this with me so I can pray to him. And trust me, with now that Ebola is in the United States, yeah, definitely. Okay, this one is to Apollo and Artemis. Um, and um, Apollo... Artemis. I have not used these yet. Um, I may, what I'll do is I may use them during one of their festivals or I'll probably use it tonight. Um, this one's strictly to Apollo. I ran out of, um, 
orange spacer beads, so I ended up with this. Um, this actually is going to go on my wrist. Okay. This is the Hades and Persephone. Um, I chose uh, purple because when the body decays, it turns purple. So I thought purple would be appropriate color for Hades because it's one of the colors of death. So, um, Hades, Persephone, another um, bracelet that's going to go around my wrist. And this one is to Poseidon and Zeus, and I chose blue. Um, I chose blue for Poseidon, and I chose the stars for um, Zeus. Okay, so uh, those are my prayer band, I want to call it. Uh, only two of them I can actually wear around my wrist because you know, they're they're not large enough to where they'll fall off. But yeah, so um, I hope this helps. Um, like I said, there is absolutely no website out there for people that want to make Hellenic prayer beads, and I thought it'd be much safer and a lot less uh, bad comment about where I go buy my beads. Now I'm going to go out at some point down the road and get wooden prayer beads um, and just recreate them and um, that way I have more stronger ones but uh, that's going to be a project that's going to take a long time so I'm going to let you guys go I hope that this video has helped in some some way and until next time